हेलो स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर हैप्पी एंड हेल्दी एट योर होम्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द पोइट्री कीपिंग क्वाइट व्हाट आई वांट शुड नॉट बी कंफ्यूज्ड विद टोटल इनएक्टिविटी द पोइट वांट्स टू मेक दिस पॉइंट क्लियर टू हिज रीडर्स दैट दे शुड नॉट गेट कंफ्यूज्ड स्टिलनेस विद टोटल इनएक्टिविटी ही सेज दैट ही इज नॉट एडवोकेटिंग टोटल इनएक्टिविटी हियर ही सिंपली एडवाइजेस डीप इंट्रोस्पेक्शन एंड आस्क्स ऑल ऑफ अस not to indulge in any kinds of activities that are mindless or that might lead us to the destruction of the ecosystem life is what it is about i want no truck with death he says that life keeps on moving and that is the thinking of human beings that life keeps on moving i want no truck with death he says that my, i am not associated with death i don't want human beings to think about death as total inactivity does not advocate death here if we were not so single minded he says that the human beings have become so single minded that they are focused only and only on their own progress and as the time is moving forward they have forgotten about the consequences of their actions that means they are so selfish that they are thinking about themselves only about keeping our lives moving that means they only want to think that they their lives should keep on moving and for once could do nothing perhaps a huge silence might interrupt this sadness of never understanding ourselves and of threatening ourselves with death so in these lines the poet wants man to stop for a moment and listen to his inner voice he says that stillness is required in order to understand each other and to maintain the balance that should exist between man and nature he wants to say that human beings should not be always on the move for a while they should also take rest and this long silence can do us a lot of good because human beings have become sad because they fail to understand themselves they feel helpless when they threaten themselves with death and this long silence can soothe our feelings and help us in removing this sadness that has come into our lives perhaps the earth can teach us as when everything seems dead and later proves to be alive the poet in these lines gives us an example to illustrate the idea that stillness doesn't mean total inactivity he says that earth can be the best teacher for human beings as we can learn a lesson from the earth he says that as we all are well aware that that earth undergoes changes you can you must have seen that in winter everything freezes it becomes lifeless but after some time the season changes again and everything comes back to life similarly taking a pause and introspecting into our lives will give it a new meaning we'll be able to understand the purpose of our life it will be like a rebirth of the soul so the poet has conveyed to all the people the purpose of his message now i'll count up to 12 and you keep quiet and i will go now the poet asks each and every one once again to take a pause count till 12 and he walks out of this scene keeping the scene open for all the people on the earth just to experience this for times to come students these are the poetic devices that are used in these two paragraphs i hope that this video will be helpful to you good luck stay home stay safe thank you